advertising at that time was uh, press based. I mean, you know, the press would, you know, the, the, the everyday newspaper would sell advertising. TV advertising was um, animation, cartoon. Mazazit really. Ya halawt sakhan kullu daman wa aman. Uh, it wasn't real people in real life stories. No, it it's uh, and in fact it was at the time when even the press made a lot of huge, not grammatical mistakes, but mistakes like, for example, they would forget a point or forget in the elif of the, the th- thing. And I remember an ad at that time, Al uh, Hag Abdul Salam Akbar Ma'arad fi Masr, the biggest show. Uh, the the biggest uh, uh, show in Egypt show 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 play you know, uh, the, the biggest um, uh, shop in Egypt mm-hmm. or the biggest uh, and they forgot the point on the dot so it made him Al Hag Muhammad Abd Salam the biggest pimp <laughs> in Egypt <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible it totally changed the meaning yeah, yeah it totally yeah, changed yeah. him from the world of, of course, advertising of he course. never understood it, he got ejected from it all oh yeah oh yeah. So that was the world at that time. At that time. You know, yeah. it's uh, like I say, it's the world of black and white. And then I went into television and then things, you know, with the mindset of somebody who can play uh, foreign jingles, but transposed into Arabic jingles. And, and, and for me to think about that, you know, the the... What is imagination? It's the unconventional uh, thought. It's the other angle. It's the enemy of the ordinary, uh, whereby things can go out of the tunnel they have and and uh, and extend uh, their aperture and uh, uh, and dare to go into the uncommon sense, if you if you will, uh, the logical of the illogical and. Uh, and I and I took that as fascinating because I always get fascinated. I, I'm I'm equally fascinated by the intelligence of people and their wit. Uh, equally fascinated by being dorky or, or being unintelligent. I, I'm always fascinated. Mm-hmm. As I said, you know, I wake up every morning with that feeling in mind. I'm completely. I I look at people and go into this world of how are they like this and that's this is how I went it through that every person is a product of their own environment, and so they form their opinion because of the two thousand people they have really known in their lives, while we are eight billion people in this world and and so that showed me how limited we are in our knowledge and our view of things and our opinion. Yeah. And and so that's why I developed to be uh, a little bit uh, 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 tolerating to other people's and and why they are like this. And uh, so, based on what you're saying, you are very much a, a a boy of the '60s, and you seem to be a very firm believer in um, that your inspiration and your uh, your work can only have been produced because you were from a certain time. A certain time that has seen, uh, that has seen uh, a lot of revolutions. Even, I mean, I mean, I wasn't there in the agricultural revolution or <laughs> uh, or the um, uh, you know the uh, the industry revolution, and then after that came uh, telephones, and and then after that came the internet. Uh, and then after that, get, that get we got the Internet of Things. So don't forget, I'm, I'm I'm somebody that came and saw all this. Even in Egypt, when you think about black and white television, when you think about telephones with dials, when you think about uh, satellite, there was no satellite. Uh, I'm also a product of, uh, I mean, the last thing that happened uh, and that also I believe is changing the world of communication which is uh, the 2020 uh, pandemic and and that subjected us all to stay uh, indoors Mm -hmm. and uh, everybody knows what happened and I believe that 2020 was a pivotal year in in changing a lot of things in our lives Mm -hmm. and uh, it got me a little bit concerned of what's going to happen with technology mm-hmm. because although technology is going to to 
to be of benefit to humankind, it also can be a uh, horrible thing that yeah. can happen because of 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 your own interests. But I just want to go back one uh, a little bit earlier when you actually did begin your your company. So we're talking 1973. 1976, I started a uh, a company with my partner Nasser Kharafi from Kuwait. Actually, this is Americana. This is Americana. Yep. And the reason why I called it Americana Advertising Agency is because I had about 20 to 30 ads on TV every night. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that I would help his business, Americana, by having the same... Same name. The same name. Uh, uh, and uh, and and from there, and I remember I took one hundred thousand pounds to start that company, and uh, and Alhamdulillah, it just evolved into a very successful business uh, later on. And and your establishment of the company came at the same time as the Iftita, so that's Iftita. Right. So you were part of a generation and a, and a group of individuals who was. The new Egypt, the 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 reawakening, the reopening. It must have been a very exciting time to be yes. launching this business and and riding that positivity that was that was being felt in Egypt at the time. I think yes, and it was because of Anwar Sadat. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. which is one hundred and eighty degrees away from Where socialism we were. Yeah. to open borders. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Although the open borders, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. I mean, once you embark on a, on on that direction, the the opposite direction. Of course, there is going to be consequences, but that doesn't mean that it's it's, it's supposedly bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's uh, because there are a lot of people who come and say, you know, that it's just too quick. Uh, all of this, yeah, this was a natural evolution of Egypt. In the eighties, obviously, there was the the big awareness of political Islam in Egypt. Were you conscious of it in your work? Were you conscious of trying to counter that? Uh, in your messages, were you trying to convey that there is another way uh, in your messages? Again, because of the environment I was born in, the very, very open environment I was born in, I was completely against uh, uh, closing up one's mind, actually. And uh, and also being a prisoner of your own environment. I refused uh, to, to get stuck in it because... I am born a Muslim because I, you, you know, all these, uh, all restrictions. these restrictions. Yeah, all these limits. You, mm. the, the 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 world has imposed on you, or humanity has imposed on you. Uh, it's uh, uh, the ability of seeing a wider angle uh, was not was was possible for everyone, uh, uh, and and uh, and. And 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 there's no fear into going into that world. Uh, I would. I'm somebody who jump in the ocean and look for the, the safety thing, uh, ring, you know. Uh, and and your opinion on the Egyptian character? Because I always think of Egyptians as inherently a positive, want to have a good time, not very serious, but in a good way, not in a bad way. And so a, 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 a philosophy or an ideology like political Islam, in my mind, would never stick long term here because we like to have fun. It, what do you think of that? Again, you're speaking about, you know, within the realm of, of your own environment in which you were born in and, and because you, uh, Malak, have, have been subjected to the world, to, yeah. to a global uh, existence. Uh, it's not the same here. It's, uh, you know, think about... I'm not thinking of myself. I'm thinking of the average Egyptian. They don't want to be told what to do. Well, nobody likes to be told what to do, but, you know, it depends on... on what, what You know, uh, it depends very much uh, if, you, if you are in, in a, a time of need uh, or not. These people are... If, if you're extremely poor, if you ne never have given be, been given the chance... To have uh, to speak your own mind, if you so, of course you listen to people. Of course you will go and, and seek advice. Now, if you go and seek advice from somebody who's good, fine. If somebody who's, who wants to manipulate you through uh, through imagined things or, uh, or 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 religion or everything, that's 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 the bad thing. But it's normal. It's normal. The Egyptian people are. 
naturally, uh, of, I don't know if anybody would say that about their own people, but uh, I, I'm amazed by the, the, their, their intelligence. I'm amazed by their wit. I'm amazed by their ability to, uh, to survive for such a long time in that environment. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what it, I, it's yeah. it's it, they're they're incredible people, but they also uh, are you know everybody works for their own interests, and if your own interest is to eat, all 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 you want to do is eat. Uh, definitely, you're going to be manipulated, and you're going to uh, mm. uh, to listen mm -hmm. to somebody else mm -hmm. who you mm -hmm. don't even like. Yeah, if your if if your child and a friend are f fell out in the water and both of them are drowning who would you save no you would save your child your of own course. interest your of own course. interest so your own interest is a natural thing that that anybody's going to do and not to be scolded for that it's only something it's natural yeah. it's, yeah. especially it's a motherly in instinct mm. and a fatherly one as well